What if you could control any robot just by talking to it? Microsoft Research just released a paper detailing how ChatGPT can be used to control robots using plain English, and the results are incredible. Telling your home assistant robot, go make my bed, is now a step closer to reality. In this video, we'll look at Microsoft's groundbreaking developments and some real world examples. Hey everyone, my name's Matthew Berman, Let's get into it. Today, controlling a robot like a robotic arm in a factory or even something more advanced like Boston Dynamics robots requires handwriting code or step-by-step -step instructions to make the robot perform tasks. It's an incredibly manual process that requires highly specialized and technical skill sets that very few people have today. Writing any software is similar in that it requires a specialized skill set that takes a long time to learn and develop. This is starting to change with the proliferation of code generating AI, including GitHub's Copilot and ChatGPT. These tools are already great at writing software from plain English descriptions. So this is the natural evolution of that. Microsoft Research just released a paper detailing the methods and challenges they had while connecting ChatGPT to real world robots. Before we go any further, let's look at an example of a drone being controlled by ChatGPT with the prompt, I am thirsty, find me a drink. Next, they tell it, I'm still thirsty. Can you find me something with sugar and a red logo? Remember, this was all executed using basic English. Absolutely incredible. Now, the key innovation here is removing the human from being in the loop and instead having them be on the loop. What this means is that rather than each improvement iteration requiring someone to write or change code, ChatGPT or other language models will iterate on the code after the initial instructions are understood. So all of a sudden we go from an incredibly slow and expensive process to something that is much faster and more efficient. The best part is that instead of requiring a highly specialized skill set, Microsoft claims that a non-technical person will be able to potentially manage this process. So how was Microsoft Research able to accomplish this? As they describe it, they first defined a set of high-level robot APIs, which basically means they define the actions that a robot can do in code. For example, with a drone, some API methods might be move forward, move backward, move up, move down. Next, they wrote a text prompt for ChatGPT, which describes the tasks they want to be accomplished while also stating the different actions available through the API. Last, ChatGPT generates code to make that happen and a human reviews it for accuracy, quality, and safety. Once the code is reviewed and approved, it gets deployed to the robot. Simple. Let's look at a couple more examples now. In this next example, the drone is instructed to take a selfie. The entire instruction is to take a selfie and ChatGPT knows to use the mirror, a reflective surface, point its camera at it, and take a picture to accomplish the take a selfie task. For the next example, the drone is instructed to inspect the shelf in a lawnmower pattern. This requires the drone to fly back and forth slowly, increasing its height off the ground to look at the whole shelf. In the next drone example, it's instructed to look at an orchid in the room. The drone is told about a potential obstruction in the form of a chair and that it should fly around the orchid in a half circle pattern, avoiding the chair. Simply amazing. In the last drone example, ChatGPT is asked to create an algorithm for a drone to reach a goal in space while avoiding obstacles. The drone is given a forward-facing distance sensor and ChatGPT was able to write the code for most of the algorithm. However, the instructions did require a bit of conversation with a human because it missed some things, such as how to set up the right orientation for the drone. But even the corrections were communicated in plain English. Microsoft also shares an example of the drone being used in a simulation where it flies around a turbine collecting information about it. ChatGPT is also capable of controlling a robot arm. In the next example, ChatGPT is asked to control the robot arm and build the Microsoft logo using colored blocks and the arm. ChatGPT didn't know what the Microsoft logo looked like, so it asked and the team described it. Let's watch the robot arm grab the right blocks and create the Microsoft logo. Congrats to the Microsoft research team for this incredible research and demonstration. It's exciting to think about what could come from this. Imagine the robots from Boston Dynamics being controlled in real time using plain speech. The future is coming quickly. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.